Hello everyone, my name is Hydra and welcome back to the first ever episode of my brand new GTA 5 real life episode. So basically this is going to be a series that I'm going to be doing here on my channel. We're going to be doing a bunch of real life stuff and we're going to be driving around and today we're going to be working as a Casey's tow truck driver. So around here we are currently at the Casey's tow truck kind of area. It's a recycling plant so we can take cars and drop them off. They're ruined. And basically around here is my brand new fleet. You guys will see here we have got the San Andreas towing on this really, really one heck of a beast Kenworth. It is very, very awesome. I found it on the GTA 5 mods website used by 247KS Pilot or something like that. Something along those lines of that YouTuber. You guys probably know who he is. I'll leave his channel link down in the description below for the video idea. And I will also link you guys all the tow trucks I'm going to be using in this video. And then if we haven't yet got the liveries on these tow trucks down here but we are currently awaiting to take these tow trucks down to the workshop to put the liveries on them for the San Andreas towing but we did recently just order in some brand new Peterbilts which are very very nice they are still in the white color so we really need to put the San Andreas towing livery on them but we haven't taken them down to the paint shop to do that yet and right over here I believe this is another Peterbilt Nope, this is a Freightliner, which is very, very nice, but we have another one of these, which is yet again another car to be taken down to the paint shop to get our livery put on it. But when that is done, our fleet will look absolutely insane. But earlier, when I was arriving up to the workshop here at the San Andreas Tow Company place, I got a call telling me that there was an abandoned Rolls Royce. If you look on the map here, there was an abandoned Rolls Royce right here where I placed this waypoint. And I was told it was in some pretty bad condition and it was tucked away behind some tree on its roof, which is absolutely insane. So I think we guys, I think guys, we got to head out there and get that Rolls Royce because you never know. We could redo it and sell it. I think that would be a pretty, pretty, really good idea for some profit in the San Andreas Towing Company, if you know. But then if we can track down the owner, we could be able to return it to the owner. But by the way, the pictures that I've seen, I'm pretty sure that the state that they left it in, they do not want it back. And I'm pretty sure they've abandoned it for a reason. But you guys can see here, if I turn on the lights, we have got an absolutely insane lighting setup. We have the front lights, which is very, very nice. We have the light bar. And we have some side lights, spotlights when it's raining or it's nighttime, which is very, very awesome. And this tow truck right here, you can move the back like this, which is absolutely insane. And you can pick up cars by moving it down and things like that. So this is going to be the tow truck we're using today. If we need other tow trucks, like a flatbed, we'll drive on back down to the depot and we'll try to get another one but i'm pretty sure this tow truck right here should do the job for today's mission so let's actually see if we can get this tow truck out of here without denting it i did very very carefully manage to get it in through this door see if we can get it through here without ripping off the wing mirrors okay we actually did that pretty pretty smoothly okay then let's set a waypoint to the call out we got for the abandoned rolls royce which is going to be right here how far away is it going to be? It's going to be about a 2.7 mile drive. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out and grab some fuel. So the nearest fuel station is actually going to be on the way next to the Sandy Shores airfield. So we'll head out to there and grab some fuel before we do anything. Something really, really cool about this truck, guys. If you look down here, you have moving mud flaps. They've actually animated the mud flaps. So when you drive and things like that, they don't just stay still. They actually move, which is absolutely insane. So if you guys do want this tow truck, I will leave every single little bit of the cars and the mods I use down in the description below for you guys. But other than that, let's head down to the petrol station. Let's refuel. Because as you guys can see, on the bottom left, underneath our map, we are quite low on fuel. And in this sort of truck, it will probably just absolutely chew through the fuel normally. So let's go right here. We're going to be refueling at that petrol station right there. Wait for this car to go past. Come on. Oh my god, they're going to turn into my lane and kill me. If I was a cop, like I normally am an SPFR, I'd definitely pull them over. Okay, let's arrive at the petrol station here, or the gas station, wherever you're from. Let's refuel the truck. And there we go. The truck is, should have refueled now. There we go. Okay then. Let's head out down to our GPS location and check out its abandoned Rolls Royce. We are not that far out, only about 1.6 miles, so it shouldn't take us too long. So the stop sign here, so we do not get pulled over by any cops. Okay, let's make our way down to the waypoint then. And see where this abandoned Rolls Royce is. This is going to be very interesting. This is one hell of a car to try to tow out of here. 
I don't know how we're going to get it off his roof. We might have to give it a little bit of a ram. we got one big truck, though, so I think we'll be okay with that. What is the speed limit here? 50. How fast are we going? Probably about... What does it say in the interior? Yeah, about we're going about like 60. That's okay. We need 10 miles right over the speed limit. No cops generally come down here. This is a very, very nice truck. When we arrive on scene, I'm going to turn on the lights and we're going to get the road closed off so we can actually get this car safely. I'm pretty sure it's in some pretty bad condition. You never know, it could catch on fire at any moment, but I really want to get this Rolls Royce out and take it back to the workshop and see if we can save it. So we might be able to sell this for some pretty hefty profit. Because we were just informed by the police, so we don't actually have to give it back to the owner if we do not want it. We were just informed by the police to pick it up and get it off the road, but... You know, it's a Rolls Royce and we could sell it or keep it for ourselves. I ain't complaining. We gotta be careful going through Stab City here. I don't want to get stabbed or shot. Because it's probably the dodgiest area down in Sandy Shores. If you guys have a look at the interior though, it is absolutely insane. It looks very, very nice. All of these mods I found on Ace Pilots. It's like Ace Pilot 24-7 or something like that. K. No clue, but I found all of them on his website. He's a pretty big YouTuber. I believe he has like 700, 700, 600k. So a big shout out to him for the mods. I do appreciate it. But I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and comment down below what your favorite part in this video was. But it looks like we're going to be arriving right here. Oh, there we go, guys. I can see it just behind that tree. Let's turn on the lights then and let's get this rose closed off. Okay. Let's block off this road here. I'm going to go inspect it. Hopefully no cars come past because they're being very impatient. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to turn off these spotlights. We do not need these on. I believe we can turn them off through the trainer over here somewhere. We're going to let this car go past here as because we are not actually doing anything with the car yet. We'll close off the road once we get the car out from behind that tree. I think that's a better option. It should be under here somewhere. Vehicle, customs. There it is. Extra. I believe you can turn it off. Is it like these two? There you go. Okay then, let's get our lights on. That looks very, very nice. And let's wander over to this Rolls Royce. It's going to be behind this tree here. There you go, so you can just see the end of it. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be in a driving condition. Let's have a look at this. From what I've heard, it crashed with another vehicle coming along the road. And then they tried to ditch it, and they must have been injured, and they must have driven it up behind this tree. And got it even more damaged. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, guys. Look at that. That is absolutely crumpled. My god, there's a pursuit going on behind us now. On a quad bike? Gotta love it. Okay, I swear to god we didn't have a hat on a minute ago. Okay. Yep. That is absolutely ruined. You can actually see the Rolls Royce bike just falling off. From its stand behind the grill, which is uh, definitely very, very expensive. This is definitely going to be one right off of a vehicle, but it looks savable. It looks like it might just need, you know, some new front parts, like a front bumper and front bumper bar and everything like that. But we'll look, we'll look. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be absolutely crumpled on the front. Any back damage? Yeah, there's a little bit of denting on the back, you guys can see there. Okay. This might be a little bit of a hefty repair, but let's see if we can get the truck up by here and try and get this thing out of there. Okay, we should be able to bring the truck just up by that hill here. I'm not sure if it might be too heavy, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, it should be up by here. We reverse up here. We're going to make it. Yes, we are. See so if we can hook it. If we can hook the car up with the thing. Come on. We've already got this far, so we can hook it up now. Oh yeah, we've got it, guys. We've got it. Oh yeah. This is going to be one easy recovery of this Rolls Royce. Okay, let's slowly pull this down. Come on. Let's slowly pull it down. Okay, let me just let me just get out and check. I want to see how we can pull this Rolls Royce out without causing any more further damage. Okay. So, this is going to be very, very interesting. So we've got the tow hook on the actual front of the grill, underneath there, right by the number plate. If we pull it out this way, you know, it might roll to the right-hand side. That's the only issue, guys. It might roll to the right-hand side. 
if we try to pull it. I think if we drive forwards and take an immediate left, we should be able to just pull it around the side of the tree without it falling on to its side. Okay, come on then. Let's go. We'll take it quite slowly. Okay, this is going pretty good. There we go. Okay, we've got it back on its side. We've got it back on the side. Perfect. Okay. Let's raise the tow hook here. Let's get it on it. Just its back wheels. That'll help with stability a little bit. Okay. There we go. Let's bring it down. Oh my god. Try not to rip the front end of our truck off. There we go. We made it down. Okay then. Yeah, let's keep going. There we go. Okay. That was pretty good. That was pretty successful. Let's drop the car down here. And let's see if we did any further damage. It's a very, very difficult task. We might have done just a little bit further damage. So let's have a look. Let's inspect this. Okay. No, it doesn't actually look like we did further damage. We haven't smashed a windscreen, luckily. That would have been the most expensive part of the windscreen. And the front headlights, though. It looks like the daytime running lights are actually still working. Let me hop inside this bad boy and see what the interior is like. Oh, I just realized the dents on the door. My god. Yeah, they definitely rolled this thing. Okay, the interior. No airbags have gone off or anything like that. That's pretty neat. So we don't have to get any new interior, really. There might be a little bit of creasing on the leather there where the door's been dented in. But other than that, pretty kosher when it comes in the inside of the car. But definitely the rear end has also got some damage from where it ramped up that tree there. Okay then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the vehicle by here. We managed to, uh, we managed to get it out. I'm going to leave the vehicle by here and I'm going to get a tow truck down from the depot. I think that will be a bit of a safer idea to cause less damage for this very, very high value car. Now I've got to figure out how to actually get the hook off the tow truck off this car. I have no clue. I am a very, very, very new San Andreas towing driver. Let's see how we can get the whole tow truck off. There we go. I got it off. There we go. Okay, let's park this car off to the side of the road where it won't get stolen. And let's make sure we can lock it in any sort of way we can. We don't actually have the keys or anything like that. But it looks like they left the car open. So we'll just try to tuck it away so no one tries to steal it. We'll just tuck it up. We'll tuck it up. Almost crashed it into my tow truck there. That wouldn't be a good idea. Where can we tuck it away so no one tries to steal it whilst we're gone to get the flatbed? We can take it down here, this will be perfect, just behind this tree. We'll align it right, right there, so no one passing by can really see it. Only from that side. If you're not looking out for it, I doubt you'll be able to see it. Okay, let's hop back in the tow truck then, and let's take the tow truck back down to our depot and actually get in a flatbed truck. So I think that'll be a better idea, just for the safety of the vehicle, so we don't damage it any further. Yeah, you can't really see it. I mean, you can, but if you're not looking for it, you're just driving straight, you probably wouldn't pay much attention to it. Okay, let's see if we can get back down to the depot as quick as we can. Need to raise the tow hook up now. See if we can get down to the depot as quick as we can so we can get in at the flatbed truck. So no one steals our vehicle and we can get it straight back to our depot and see if we can repair it and sell it. As I guarantee we can get some really, really sick trucks. And we can get some really, really nice liveries with the money for our new fleet that we're adding to our San Andreas towing. If you guys are interested in any of my links down in the description below, I have my Discord, my merchandise, and my, my Patreon. If you guys are interested in them, make sure you head down in the description below and check them out. 100% of my merchandise and Patreon funds go straight to charity. So if you guys could, that, could check them out, that would be greatly appreciated. If you guys are also interested in joining a, a YouTube, a very, very chill, and LSPFR, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and GTA 5 in general Discord server, then make sure you check out mine down in the description below. There's nothing you have to do to join it, you just click the link. As long as you've got a Discord account, everything should go smooth as butter for you to be able to join it. You can say hi, I'll speak to you, and all that jazz. And also, I will leave all these tow truck mods, I'll make a new channel for the tow truck mods and all the series that I'm doing. I will leave all of these mod links down in my Discord if you guys are interested, instead of having to go back and forth from my descriptions in my videos. Oh my god, Coyote, please don't run in front of my truck, thank you. Okay then, this is going pretty successful so far. Okay, looks like we're low on fuel already. So we need to head back before we break down. Get out of my way, truck. Get out of my way, come on. Oh my god. 
every time we speed up, this lorry speeds up. To overtake it before we can't. Technically, we can't now. Oh, we took off the 50 miles per hour speed sign. Oh my god. What are you doing, lorry? Just let me overtake. Okay, here we go. We're arriving back at the depot now, only about 0 0.4 miles off. And we can refuel back at the depot. There's no point in paying for some more fuel for this thing. This thing chews and eats through fuel. I don't blame it though, if you're towing things all the time, which all my all my friends in the San Andreas Towing Company have probably been doing before my shift, then all the heavy load and this heavy truck itself will probably just eat through fuel. Okay, let's get down to the station then. I'm away car. I'm going to overtake. I don't even care if it's illegal. Come on, let me fast. Thank you. God, no one in San Andreas wants to just let a tow truck driver drive on his job. They have to be very, very awkward when it comes to overtaking. If you guys are wondering what that Range Rover is, that is actually my car that I used to get here to my shift. We'll leave the tow truck just outside the department and I'll let my mates bring it inside in for the depot, but let's hop in one of the tow trucks. I'm gonna take this bad boy right here. This is definitely one of my favorites out of the two flatbeds, but I'll we'll get the other one some more use. The other one's got more of a crew cab, so you know, that's just some multi, multi use for some friends to take out. This doesn't actually have any lights, which is quite unfortunate, but it does have some orange high visibility lights on the top and the side, so you definitely can see it. Okay, let's head down to the place. To drop off the truck. Set the waypoint just down here. And let's head down and pick this Rolls Royce up and get it out of that dodgy forest. Hopefully no one's stolen it. I beg no one's stolen it. I'm going to get there as quick as possible. I really want this Rolls Royce. I don't even care if we get pulled over by a cop. I will get there. Okay, here we go. Take a right down here. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, come out to the stop sign. Make sure there are no cops. If there's not a cop, you don't stop. That's my saying. Okay, keep going. Okay, we're clear for cops now. We can just get down to this Rolls Royce as quick as possible. Let's keep going. Don't pull out on me, don't walk in the middle of the road, oh my god, everyone in San Andreas is suicidal today. I'm sure I look pretty suicidal driving this massive flatbed truck down the Route 68 at like 90 miles per hour, but you know, I wanted this Rolls Royce, I'm sure they'd understand. No one better steal it. If someone steals it, I swear to god I'm going to be even more mad than I already am. Okay. So they're right down here. Through Stop City. Hopefully we didn't get stabbed or shot. There's always a risk driving past here. Gotta love it. I'm away, Hummer. I'm away, Black Hummer. Come on. Move, move, move. Please tell me no one stole the Rolls Royce. Can we see it? Can we see it yet? I think I see it. I think I see it behind that tree. Oh yeah. No one stole it. Come on. I think I saw it. There it is, I see the Rolls Royce. Pretty sure I just saw it. It was out of shadow, oh my god. It's so anxious not knowing if the Rolls Royce is still there or not. I don't know how the owners of this car originally just left it. There it is, it's still there, thank god. Okay then, let's pop the tow truck up by here and we'll evaluate how we can get this Rolls Royce on to the car. Okay guys, I've just taken a quick look and it looks as if we just take the tow truck down when we took the Rolls Royce. Should be pretty safe if we just drive it down by here. There is a gap in between the signposts, so we don't need to rip down a signpost or anything. We should be able to just wedge the truck through here. We can take it down here. It's not a steep slope or anything. Park it up. We might need to just put it in the water a little bit, but that's okay. It is a big-ass truck after all. The engine is not low down like the Rolls Royce, so we pr should be pretty safe taking that route and get the Rolls Royce on to the flatbed very very safely with no minimal damage i'm not going to say no because i don't want to jinx it okay let's reverse up by here come on biker don't don't make it awkward now okay let's flip around 
Okay, we'll go get bike and move. Come on. You have to give me some room here, my man. You can go past. Go on. Okay, we're going to have to do a pretty big turn here to get the right angle. There we go. There we go. We made it. Oh, I heard some swipe in there. Oh, it's going to be the fuel tank. Let's try not to rupture the fuel tank. Okay, there we go. Making it down pretty safely. Mm, avoid the rocks. There we go. I didn't take into account how low the truck was at the back. I always forget about that. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it's not very slippery by here. Have to put the truck in the water a little bit. There we go. I could have made it easy for myself if I left it on the side of the road. But then, you know, there is a risk that someone would steal it. Okay. Okay, then. Let's see how we can get this car onto the back of the truck. Yeah. Okay, so we come up onto the control panel by here. And let's lower the car. And there it is. Lowering it down. Lowering down the truck. And keep going. Keep going. You go in. And I like how the indicators come on automatically. That's pretty useful. And we go we go. We've got it down. That is absolutely perfect. God I love it. Okay then. Let's see if we can drive the Rolls Royce up the flatbed then. I'm pretty sure it should still be able to work. If not, we can drag it on. There we go. The engine looked like it still started. But I'm gonna connect it to the front tow hooks here and just drag it up there we go okay it's going pretty successful so far Ooh, the front watch the front watch the front bro watch the front come on oh my god okay actually going pretty successful so far there we go and we've got it on the tow hook on the tow truck with very very minimal damage I didn't say tow truck actually this is a flatbed truck we got it on the flatbed truck with minimal damage which is very successful and now we can put the tow truck back up. There we go. The Rolls Royce is a little bit shot on the suspension there after looking at it. Might be the angle that the tow truck's at, but from what I can see, the suspension might be a little bit dodgy. Yeah, the suspension might be a little bit dodgy. We'll see now when we get on the proper, proper flat angle. There we go. Yes, the suspension is going to be a little bit ruined there. Oh my god, maybe it will be a little bit more of an expensive job afterwards. Okay, let's hop into the flatbed truck then. There we go. And let's take this thing back down to the depot. So, waypoint right by here. And this was a one successful tow trip. I want to say that. We managed to nab ourselves a Rolls Royce, which is absolutely insane. Oh god, we're not going to be stuck now. Keep going. Come on. There we go. Gotta get through this gap. Can we th through this? Oh my god, this is tight. There we go. There we go. Now that is how you successfully save a Rolls Royce. There we go. Gotta love it. Hell yeah. We nailed it, guys. Oh god, we're not getting pulled over now. Nope. Okay, let's pull over just in case. Oh my god, the cop just spun out. Gotta love it. I think that cop's actually chasing after the... I'm pretty sure it's chasing after the bike. We'll see now. Yep, he's going right past us. Doesn't even give one. I was going to say, maybe maybe the AMPR's pinged our camera. Pinged us on a camera for running a bunch of stop signs and speeding. Or a civilian reported us, but... Nope, we're safe. Well, actually, guys, it looks like this back suspension has settled on one side, but not on the other. Yeah, I definitely think the... The camber on the wheels is ruined... We got some mad camber, look at it. Oh yeah. Yes, the, the chassis is going to be absolutely ruined from what I can tell. I don't think this car is salvageable whatsoever. But we'll see when we take it down to the workshop. We'll see if we can get it fixed, you never know. Okay. Stop sign, no one coming. There we go, good to go. I'm going to drive in the interior see what that's like. The interior on these trucks are absolutely insane. Fair play, you got to give it to them. Very nice. Very highly detailed, which most trucks on GTI find it or not. So, fair play to the creators of these. But this looks absolutely insane, having a Rolls Royce on the back of a tow truck. 
A Jerry Dan tow truck. What even? It is a, yeah, it is a Peterville Jerry Dan tow truck, I think. Someone on those lines. I have no clue when it comes to models of tow trucks. You guys might do. I don't. But it is a very, very neat tow truck. Okay. Let's make our way back down to the depot. We're only about 0 0.8 miles off now, so it shouldn't take us too long. We look to be okay on fuel to get back. But with this heavy-ass Rolls Royce on the back, you never know. Okay. You know, I could really fancy some liquor race right now. Just after this a long, long day with the treacherous work of trying not to damage the Rolls Royce any further. Even though it looks to be it's going to be written off anyway, so we could have just driven it back even if it broke the engine. But, we tried. You never know how these things are going to turn out. Okay, let's hit the left down here then. Should we go for a little drag strip with the Rolls Royce down there? I'm sure that'll go well. I'm sure the engine will just drop out of it also halfway through the drag strip. Even if the engine will start from what, the, from what I heard when I sat in it. The engine did start, so... But it didn't sound very healthy, so I don't think it would be a good idea to try go hooning it along the road. When we get back to the depot, we'll see if we can drive it. I'm not sure that back suspension it might drop that down. If we just give it a little bit of a smack or sit on the sit on the rear right, then you never know. The rear left even, you never know. It could could drop back down again. I'm sure that would be a safe way of fixing it. There we go. Arriving back at the depot here. Very, very nice. Let's just park up behind the San Andreas towing tow truck. There we go. And there we go. Okay, let's bring back down the flatbed. Let's lower it back down. Let's see if we can get this Rolls Royce off and see if we can drive it away. I'm not sure we might be able to. When I sat in the car for the first time, it looked like it did turn on, but the engine didn't sound very healthy. I've never driven a Rolls Royce, so it could be... Could be one experience if we can get it to drive. But we might get pulled over by a car for the state the vehicle's in, so we'll probably just keep it on the on our private property here. There we go, we've lowered the truck down again. Let's get the Rolls Royce off. Actually we might need to lower it down just a little bit further, I'm not sure here. There we go, I think it's pretty much perfect now. Okay, let's unload the Phantom. Phantom Rolls Royce. Very, very nice. Should start lowering it down now. Or oh, we're going to have to drive it down manually. Who knows? Ow! Oh my god. I think we just broke our face. There we go. Let's see if we can hop inside the Rolls Royce and drive it down. Okay. The engine started, but it does not sound healthy whatsoever. It still sounds pretty good, though. The W16 engine or whatever it's got in it. W12. Who knows? Okay, let's be careful trying not to rip off, rip off the front bumper anymore. There's already a massive hole in it. Look at the front bumper. There's a massive hole in the netting right there. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, okay. Okay, there we go. Pretty minimal damage. Let's see if we can take it for a spin. Oh, yeah, there we go. It can actually drive. See, we, see how fast we can go in here. I've never driven a Rolls Royce before. Oh my god, this is insane. This is luxury. Why would you ever ditch this car? Oh, it can still go pretty fast. That's pretty neat. Okay. Let's just drive it around to the side here of our... Of our scrapyard. We're going to have to park it in here because this car is definitely not going to be salvageable. The engine might work, but bodywork-wise, it's going to cost a lot and a lot of money. Not worth... Probably worth definitely over the price of the car. Let's find a nice little space. To cozy up this Rolls Royce for its final hours before it gets scrapped. Under here looks good enough. And then we'll be able to take the engine out and sell it. We're not going to scrap it with the engine in. We'll probably take the engine out and sell the engine. That'll be worth something as it's still running. Might have to do a little bit of fixing on it. It might be a little bit, you know, shifted. But we move and we'll see how we can do it. Okay, let's walk back over. We're actually going to do a light jog sprint, however you want to call it. Because it's actually pretty far. You would be surprised. Looks like someone's taking a look what scrap they can get off a plane. As we do sell the scrap parts. So, there we go. Arriving 
back at the thing. Before we end off the episode, we need to put the flatbed truck flatbed back up. There we go. Let's put it back up, lower down the back. Oops. Oops, there we go. And a few seconds and it should be back up. I do I love the way you can control this, it's absolutely insane. And we are done. Need to be done now. I think we're done. Okay, now we're done. There we go. What a successful trip that was. Let's park these cars back inside of the depot here then. Okay. Let's try not to rip the ring mirrors off. There we go. Got it in safely. We'll just park it up behind the other one by here. And we'll rearrange them later on in the day. There we go. And let's get the other heavy duty tow truck here. San Andreas tow and livery on. We definitely need to get the San Andreas tow and livery on the rest of them. Need to get that sorted for you guys. And for the San Andreas towing company. I forgot how low we were on fuel in this thing. I love the lights on this thing though. It looks absolutely insane. So we can get it in here. Oh, we might have to move the truck actually. We have to move the other truck. Let's hop over then. Oh, there we go. Ow, my head. Ow. Ow. There we go. We're in. What on hell? What on hell is this with that truck crackhead? Just tell me. Okay, we're gonna just drive the truck behind here. Let's try not hit it. There we go. Almost hit it. We didn't. So that's good. Okay, we should have enough room just to wedge the truck in here now. There we go. Come oh my god, did the angle I okay we can get in, thank god. I thought the angle I put the truck in might have just limited us from getting in there. We're definitely gonna need to refuel this truck though. It is barely wanting to move in. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? I think it was just beyond low on fuel, guys. We're in. We're in though. They tried to reverse because it was low on fuel. That is uh, very interesting. There we go. And there we go. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this episode of the brand new series of my GTA 5 real life series. I do appreciate it. If you guys stuck towards the end, make sure you subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, comment down below what your favorite part in the episode was. And please, please like the video if you haven't already. Check out all my links down in the description below, including my merchandise, my Discord, and my Patreon. That would be greatly appreciated. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of GTA 5 Real Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video.